All right, today we're going to show you how to replace the main jet in your Predator or clone style carburetor. You're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench or socket as well as a flathead screwdriver. Now first off you're going to remove the float bowl bolt. Um, once you get this loose uh, you'll be able to remove the float bowl. Um, there, there will be a gasket underneath the float bowl. Make sure that it doesn't fall out or become creased or cracked or anything along those lines. Next you have your jet. It's down in the, the silver stem sticking down. You're going to use your flathead screwdriver to remove the jet. Um, while, while loosening the jet, be sure to pay attention to make sure the jet doesn't fall out and the E-tube will be right behind it falling out. Um, generally you'll have to give it a little bit of a tap on the, on the silver stem there sticking down um, just to get it to kind of come loose and eventually fall out. Okay, now there's there's your your main jet and your e-tube. For this carburetor application, we're simply going to be adding the the e-tube right back to the carburetor. Uh, now you have your your main jet. It has a slot in one end, and it only fits one way. Uh, be sure that you're installing the main jet with the with the slotted end facing down towards the float bowl. Now as you tighten this up, be sure that you're not over tightening it. Um, just snug or maybe just a hair pass snug is sufficient. If you do over tighten this, you run the risk of cracking the carb body. Um, now before you reinstall your float bowl, be sure to check your uh, your gasket there to make sure it's it's fitting within the groove correctly. Uh, if not, you could run into problems with fuel leakage. Um, now you're ready to reinstall the float bowl. Now uh, you, just like you removed it, you reinstall it the same way. You're putting your float bowl nut bolt back in there, and be sure that you're not over tightening this either. Um, it will crush the bottom of the of the float bowl, which can lead to fuel leakage also. Now this is your rundown on how to replace your main jet in your clone or predator style carburetor.